Day 85. Supplemental. That is a beautiful sight. A six burner stove covered with wolf. <laughs> that is not a bad day right there. That's a good way to start a day, in fact. Dang. This is what I call breakfast of champions. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, head on down to the uh, bottoms. And you can see why I was happy to uh, map this yesterday. You know, we had a bright and clear day yesterday. A day later, it's fog rolled in. So if uh, you're uh, running anything in which you want to have the maps come in, take your good days and map where you can. So, we only lost a couple of hours processing the wolf, but I sure as heck don't mind coming on down here with a uh, pack full of meat. So we're not going to feel too bad about that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get myself on down to the bottoms here so we can start on with the rest of the exploration and uh, map cartography. I'm going to go ahead and stop where I need to, of course. We'll probably spend at least a day down here, but there are some good places in which to hold up. Uh, there's a fireplace, at least in Hermit's uh, cabin. I know it's wrecked, but uh, you know if you've got a fire and a bedroll, you can usually get yourself through most things. Pick up sticks, Long Dark's favorite game. And I forget if this cave has anything of value in it or if it's completely random. Right now it doesn't look like there's a bear in it to worry about. And it looks like it's just going to be some wood pieces. That's fine. I'm not going to be really looking at staying here too much. I think I will give this just a peek back here. I've got the lantern fuel, so... No harm in just double checking any sort of random spawns. The game is getting upgraded, so. Okay. Yeah, and it looks like not this time. And I'm going to go ahead and leave that uh, wood here for when I really need it later. Because I just am on my way down here. I'm not going to worry about needing to get warmed up by stealing that wood. You know, this is a pretty natural environment down here, so wood is usually not the problem. Let me go ahead, get on down here. I'm going to try and get a little bit of map added to it. See if that's going to do anything for me. I don't think I added anything. Hang on. Let me, there we are. Let me actually survey. That'll help. Yeah, it didn't increase too much territory. But it's nice to know I can map in this kind of fog level. I wasn't quite sure. Okay. Let's get on down and get to the real mission. Okay, safely made it down to the mountain basin. Hang on. That's a tree rub. Okay. Alright. So we got ourselves a moose around here. The only problem is... I'm pretty good with meat. I didn't want to stay down here long enough to process an entire moose. And, more to the point... I've never even had a moose fight in which I didn't like get my ribs completely crushed or some other form of horrific injury so I don't even know if I want to have a moose encounter oh and I know you're gonna hate me in the comments for thinking oh you should get the moose side satchel it's like I think I've proven well enough that my inventory is not a major problem I mean, I wouldn't mind an expansion, but I'm not really gunning for it here. Sometimes a large part of uh, Long Dark is survival. Of survival is choosing your fights, which one you'll have or not. Oh well, I don't even have one to. <sighs> there it is. It's right there. Okay. Um. Yeah, I know. A lot of you are screaming at me, take the shot, take the shot, take the shot. I... I'm trying to get myself out of Mountain Town. I'm I wanted to come down here to survey this region to get it done and start move on to the next region. I don't want to take another moose hide, tan it and make it. I just don't want to right now, so I'm going to let the moose go. Okay. Uh, I'll probably take this deer hide because I am wearing deer gear and I need that uh, hide to repair that gear, but we're going to let the moose go. It's my game. I'll play it the way I want. 
You can hate me in the comments all you want. Never mind. Hey, there's something you gotta appreciate. Two trees with old man's beard right next to each other. I definitely gotta uh, stock up on that stuff. I really appreciate old man's beard. Uh, I mean, it's lightweight, it's great for antibiotics for all the uh, bear, uh, pardon me, wolf bites you're gonna get, so I'll take that in a heartbeat. And those crows suggest that there's some something dead for me to check out here when I uh, get done with this stuff also, so. You gotta appreciate the small things, because when you're trying to survive the foes in Apocalypse, small things are all you've got. <laughs> oh man, it's a game that makes you appreciate moss and tin cans. So, oh crud, hang on. Oh, that wasn't quick enough. You dang thing. Be quick on the draw, everyone. Oh, I should have been ready. Alright. Yeah, you better keep running. <sighs> Golly. Did I see another one? Did I see another one? <sighs> I took a sprain a couple uh, a couple minutes back, but it was just a stupid sprain, so I didn't feel the need to do anything. Am I not bleeding? Did I somehow escape blood? Okay. Oh, my boots got ruined. That's why I was wearing those lousy ones. They took the hit for me, so I'm not going to complain about that. Okay. I can deal with that. Are we actually... Did I, like, not have major tragedy? Wood. Okay. I'll take that, but... That's the cabin I'm heading to tonight. Are we actually doing okay? I'm just kind of amazed that I did not get, like, even bloody. So that's unusual for me. But I suppose once in a while, random number generation has to fall in your favor. Okay, let's go ahead and continue getting these things cleaned up. And then I think the game plan is going to be to head to uh, the cabin... You know, it's as good as pretty much any place down here, really. Uh, there's not a lot of buildings in this valley, in this basin, so... Uh, I'm kind of of the mentality of, let's get the supplies up and sort of make a little bit of camp while I kind of spoke out to map this downstairs story. At least that's the plan in my head until something else happens to change my mind. Well, holy... That is the blessed bounty double, when you've got the wolf who's actually taken out the deer. Okay, I'm sorry, you, it's like the rule, you've got to try and take this shot. Come on. Ah, oh, I need to put some time in my practice world. Come on. Come on, oh my gosh, okay, I've scared him off now. Ugh. Oh well pick up my arrow, but at least I've got myself the deer. Oh, wait, hang on. Okay, so that's the deer. Oh my gosh, that's the same wolf that attacked me, because that's his blood trail. Okay, which way is this going to suss out? Hello, Mr. Wolf. Alright, can I get lucky here? Come on. Come on. Oh, come on! The, the arrow's literally in his head! Alright, I just need... Okay, I can accept that. I can accept that. First time a wolf's ever attacked me with an arrow literally in him. But I can deal with that. Alright, twofer. I can deal with that. Real easy. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, that... Happy day... Okay, now the bodies are really starting to stack up, which is a good thing in a video game. In the video game, the bodies are starting to stack up. Let's let's be clear here. <laughs> uh, so I think it's probably uh, smart if we go ahead and start making a bit of a base for us to uh, at least bed down for the night and uh, next couple of hours, because I can already tell this is going to be one of those, think. you know, slice, dice, and cook type days, so... Ah, oh, good. Hermit's Cabin. 
Let me go ahead and get this navigated while the light and the weather is good enough to do it. Get that surveyed. There we are. Okay. Let me take a look around in here. I think... Okay. Good, good, good. A couple of cans of food as well. Nice to see. Some swords to check out. Plenty of room for the bedroll. That's all I really need. If I've got fire, I'm out of shelter, I can drop the bedroll down, we're going to be fine. I'm not worried here. Alright, let me go ahead and drop some gear, make some camp, and I'll catch up with you in a few. Alright, as you can tell, night has already come in, but I've already got the fire going, and I've got supper on the stove. Uh, going ahead and uh, cooking up both cans of food because there's no sense in going hungry with the amount of meat that I'm swimming in. And I made a slight amateur mistake. I did not bring any tin cans with me. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, empty up both of these cans into my belly to make sure that I've got uh, plenty enough containers to boil water up in. I'm really not concerned about too much else. I got food, fire, firewood place to sleep by. I'm going to call that a good night. I even got some coal from around here to keep my uh, fire going for the long term. And as you can tell, I've got uh, plenty of meat here to harvest. So that's the game plan, is to do the harvest, cook, and one hour naps. Probably going to do that through the entire night, just to cut down on the amount of decay that uh, the meat goes through while it's in those uh, uh, harvested quarters. So. I'm going to go ahead and do the grind, but this time, I'm going to go ahead and suggest you subscribe if you want to know if I live to see tomorrow. I'm Commander Tom. Thanks for watching.